The following program may contain mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Man, there was a time when I used to be in the opening uh, intro video for Pulse, but that's not okay. All right. All right, Steve. That's what we pay the big bucks for. Yeah, there you go. Apparently. Oh, I'm back now. Yeah, you, you're good. Oh, oh God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> your your first show, your first show back, champ, and the production team's already screwing the mic up. Man, I'm gonna go back there and put my foot somebody back. Isn't that in that supposed to be a new mic in one? Yeah, it's supposed to be a new mic in one. Like I was saying before, somebody back there decided to fuck with my mic. There yeah. was a time, there was a time when I used to be on the intro video for Pulse, but that's not the case. But okay, all right. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I think that's so, something you may have to talk to Dallas about. So I'm sure, um, she'll, I'm sure she'll hook you up with that. Thing. Yeah. yeah, I like Dallas. But anyway, so Mercedes, ain't that man you go fast? Yeah, that is the artist formerly known as Baby Yes. Yes. The. Uh, yeah, he's going by Mercedes now, and uh, Jordan Collins, the artist formerly known as JC, is calling him JC Wolf now. They're both boys. <laughs> it'll be, it'll all be explained later, champ. I promise. Yeah. Oh, okay. But right now we got a huge match right here. We got Silon and Mercedes in the first match of this mini tournament tonight. The winner will get a women's championship match. That is a huge announcement from Dallas. Very huge. The winner will be taking on Black Widow for the women's title at CCL Vendetta on May 6th. 
And yeah, that's man. Mexico City. And it. Oh, go ahead, Eddie. I'm going to tell you one thing, man. I'm not touching no tequila, and I'm not touching no Coronas. I think we're going to I think we're gonna have security extra tight for that. Oh, my goodness. Great sending to save the city outside. Starlock is one. Uh -oh. And oh! Eddie, I think... Uh, in, in your um, expert words of wisdom, I think you say you didn't protect yourself at all times. Though. She did not. She sure enough did not. And now Psylocke's in control. Mercedes, uh, if you've been white cover now. Two. If you've been watching, um, DCA programming as of late. Mercedes is the current rising star champion over there. And if she wins this tournament, she could have an opportunity to be a double champion. Yes. I hope that bitch leaves. Anyway. Oh, so, it, it is a three way, so this. Yeah. Oh, I, God! I heard. Wait, but I, I heard she likes three ways. That okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and if you guys have not noticed already, the champion's here. Goddamn right, shit. I made a brief appearance at Uprising Three, and then had to had to jet away. But I'm back. Oh! We're gonna get your fucking head kicked off. Seems like it seems like everybody in the blacklist is perfected that bicep kick right. Just saying. Wait, hold on, time out. Look, I've been gone for a while, but the blacklist is still a thing. Dude, dude, it's been a thing for a long time. Long time. Jeez. Yeah, yeah you you should Straight know. Straight jacket neck breaker by Mercedes. I'm impressed with her move set. I just think she's a bitch. She's a dumb bitch. We changed her name. I'm just saying, why the fuck would you change your name to something that you probably can't even afford to okay, alright. <laughs> Not what for us and I'm here for. You you gotta admit Mercedes has really stepped up her game in this match, but then again, I mean, you're going after a women's championship match. I mean, who wouldn't step their game up? To a level that many people may not even thought that you had going after a women's championship match because those are few and far between in this business. Well, so much for that. Psylocke reversed into a neck breaker of her own, the former CCO women's tag champion. Actually, I believe her and Electra, Psylocke, still hold the record for Lomas Reigns women's tag champs, I believe. Uh oh. Oh my god! Oh my god. I think I just saw her breast deflated after that. Okay. Two, three, oh! Three, three, damn it, three! Almost like a flat jack. Um, that, oh. it almost, I think that pretty much that was a flat jack. She just slung her up in the air. And she dropped, and she got dropped on her face and... Oh! In the face! Speaking of in the face, a uh, hip check by Mercedes to it! She, there was no way she was going to get a, a three count with no ass like that, I'm just saying. <laughs> And yeah, the J the JC special wants to go to Hey, 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 hey. Oh my god, what a hit the group though. Now Psylocke. Oh! That could not have fucked me. That is the hardest part of the ring right there, the ring apron. That never will feel good, no matter how you land on it.
It's the man that knows what he's talking about. He has I, actual I, I, rings in the ring experience. Yeah, yep. yeah, but I thought that that's what JC said last night after the Southern Night White Man. Oh, nigga. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I you, think, I no, think, uh... You, you need to stop. <laughs> you, you just Jesus. need to stop. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to Oh, God! I'm going to figure out where he first came to the face of the final watch of the tank. The ref's still counting. He's still out, man. Mercedes thinks she's won and she may have. Yes! Yes! yes. Wow! What an upset for... Mercedes just beat Psylocke by count out, for Christ's sake. It's by count out, but it's a win nonetheless, and she's moving on to the next round. It may not, it may not be, it may not be ethical, but um, it, it got the job done in, in a single elimination format. That's all that matters. Exactly. Win however way you can, whether it be pinball submission, the ball, or count out. The side lock man, just unlucky for her. I don't know if we're gonna see. I don't know if we're gonna see that on a bike, that on a bicycle, that anything. Oh, we got we play basketball. What a. There was a high school kid that Salak caught and Salak's cheek was... She was out, she was dead in the room right there. And Mercedes is on the semi-fuck, Salak is still there. Salak might be out cold. <laughs> what what's the point of getting angry or scared? These these women are gonna do whatever they're gonna do whatever the hell they want. And who in 
in their right mind is going to stop them. What, what's the point of getting angry or scared? What, what's the point of getting scared? What, what's the point, what's the point, what's the point, what's the point? That's what's going on, Sean. Hey, listen, man. I haven't been able to see very good for the last few months, and then I have to see that shit. Who's responsible for this? Who manages this? Eddie, hey. A Eddie, I, I, Eddie, I think you should explain. First of all, are we even on right now? Yeah, 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 we're on. We're, yeah, we're, we're on. Yeah. yeah. And right now, we got this action. I don't can, 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 we, can, we, can we get chance? I don't, I don't even, I don't, I don't think these two even knew what just went down. They just heard the bell ring and they, they're fighting now. Oh, no, the, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Oh, for, for the, oh, apparently for the second week in a row, our, our, our broadcast has been hacked. And I've seen this on DCA programming recently as well. Apparently there's a group known as Ashra that is responsible for these videos. And one of the members of that group is the CCL Bombshells champion, Akira Hickamu. Or at least well, the Archer, uh, uh, known uh, as Akira uh, Yuki Mura. Yeah, she's just she's just going by her first name now, Akira. Yeah, the, the tortured empress of virtual wrestling, and I think what the hell? Yeah. That chance you missed a lot. Champ's mic's working I think Ashra messed with Champ's mic too, I think. Because it was working fine a minute ago. It probably did, crazy ass motherfuckers. Uh, Am I good now? Yeah, yeah, yeah you got it. Yeah. Let's, okay. let's, let's focus on this. Yeah, we got a The kid and. Speaking of, speaking of Ashra, one of the members that Akira was formerly a, a part of, the Dynasty, the kid is in the ring right now facing Dixie Clemens. And 
the kid and Kaiser have been trying to stay by Envy's side through this whole ordeal. We have not seen Envy since uh, that night. And, and I think it's because she realizes now that she inadvertently caused something that she may not even be able to stop. Yeah, she knows that she knows she done fucked up. Oh, oh Jesus, God. What a right hand. What a yeah, right she, hand, man. Champ, I, I'll agree with you. She did. I mean, but the, the, the other part that, that the fact that she had no idea that this was all going on for the last year plus. Oh, oh right hand. Dixie is just getting waylaid by the right hands. The kid is in a, it seems like she's in a mood tonight. Not just the fact that she wants to be in a contention for a women's title, but just everything has gone down in the last few weeks. The last few months, rather. Oh, Dixie, oh, goodness. Dixie with the alley -oop. Oh, God. But I don't think Dixie Clemens gives a damn. She just wants to get into that next round. And that may cost the kid here. And Dixie turns the kid over and the Dixie lock is locked. This could be it right here. Kid might be struggling to get out here. That's it. No That's it. it. And Clemens advances. Clemens made her ass tap out. God damn, what does she not have on with that stuff? What, what, is, what was it that JR said uh, at the 2001 Royal Rumble? What is she not wearing? Right, exactly. What, what is she I don't think Dick, I don't think Dixie gives a damn, I don't, really, and I don't think, and I don't really either. I'm just, anyway, no, I shouldn't say that too loud. Um, <laughs> anyway, anyway, um, I don't, I think the kid wasn't even in this match to begin with. Because with everything that's gone on around her and her group lately, Dixie took advantage of that. I mean, she had a good flurry in this match, but Dixie took advantage when she knew she had an opening and she capitalized on it. There's the end of the Dixie lock. That was Dixie lock, that sharpshooter. Made her that tap like a drum. And Dixie Clinton, every single in oh wait, never mind. And Eddie. Right. Yeah. Right. Right, uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna move on. How about that? <laughs> yes. Because I have already proved in so many years that I am the past. And I am the present and now the future of virtual wrestling. The thing is, though, with a, the with a change in the future, with this change coming, you no longer call me Jordan Collins. Oh, no. Because I've been thinking long and hard about this. I'm thinking long and hard as a way to kind of bring a bit of respect back to a certain name. So from now on, commentary team, D-Wall, the champ, and Brian, whatever your name is, even Malik Brown, everybody in this arena, everybody in CCL now refer to me as J.C. Wolf. <laughs> yes, Wolf. I am taking Harry's name, and I am going to make it respectable again. So now, now I'm no longer Jordan Collins, the lone wolf, Jordan Collins, none of that. I am J.C. Wolf. And apart from that, we're going to change things up even more. Because Maybelline Wolf no longer exists. CCL, say hello to Mercedes. Why, why Mercedes? Why have we decided that name? Because we damn can. We can choose whatever we want to do. We can do whatever we want to do. We are just that good. So CCL, 
C C everybody in CCL and everybody around the world and in virtual wrestling, take note. Today is a new beginning. Today is the start of something new. Say hello to J.C. Wolf and Mercedes. Because look, everybody, look. Because what you see in front of you is the past, the present, and the future of virtual wrestling. I'm not impressed, champion. I, I can't play. I'm not impressed. Not in the least. I'm impressed with Julia Scarlett. I'm hoping that she'll finally realize the potential I've seen in her since she debuted in CCL. Give a sec. I'm hoping so, too. She's got a tough opponent here in this uh, first round bounce. Oh, hi. She'll be up against the first ever CCL Bombshells champion, which was perfect athlete Shannon. And Shannon has been less than a perfect athlete since uh, has turned her back on the fans and aligned herself with uh, Ashley Knight. So, so, so wow. Shannon and Ashley were unsuccessful at the uh, last standing. Getting the women's tag titles off of Love Hurts, but Shanna fought her way back to the win column with the win over Cassandra Nova on Adrenaline last week, so maybe that issue between Love Hurts and the Perfect Knight is not over. It may not be. Right now, she needs, like, Miss, Miss Shanna needs to focus on advancing the tournament and getting a shot at the women's title. As she mentioned, she is, she, is, she is the first woman to win the Bombshell Championship. But it seems like since when she lost that, when she lost that title to, when she lost that title to Cleopatra Spinks at Supernova back in uh, February 2015, that just... I think it was 2015. It just sent her on a downward spiral. She's too good for it. She hasn't been able to recover. All right. All right. Oh, it's one by Agnes. It's one by Agnes. Shows down. Justin. Mercedes will face the winner of this in the semifinals. And speaking of Shannon, Shannon's tag team partner, Ashley Knight. Oh! We'll be in action following this match. In the last quarterfinal, she'll be up against the other half of Love Runs, Corey Owens. KO. Hey man, what the fuck is D Wall, man? He was just he was just here. What the hell happened to that Batman? Is, 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 can we can we can we plug his mic in? He's a human being. I mean, is his mic working or did he, did he just did he run off or? Maybe he got he maybe he got scared from that video that I played earlier. I mean I'll, I'll be honest with you, 
that would get spooked by a lot. That, that video kind of spooked me a little bit. I don't see it getting scared by much of anything, but that video even had me like, what in the world? Yeah, oh, man. Another drop kick sending Shannon to the floor. Now Julia Floyd is getting the ascent on the outside. Shannon's in a lot of trouble right now. Shannon by the arm here. Ooh, cranking on her arm. Cranking on it in a, dare I say, very unnatural position. Like, seriously, it, it, I'm pretty sure your arm is not supposed to bend that far back. <laughs> I, I think and I'm, I'm not an expert on, on arms or anything. Champ, you, you, know, you know more about this than I do. I'm pretty sure your arm is not supposed to bend that back that far. Mm, not quite, but it is still like it's it's effective nonetheless to be able to get the R to bend back that way. It can hurt a lot. Dolly to Dolly by the cheerleader slash zombie hunter. Now Juliet on top. That's looking for the smart level. Oh, she got it! Smart level scores in. Oh, only a one? You would think after the way she's worked on it this match, you would think that would have did it. I would think so too. No, Juliet gets a splash this time. Yeah, we get some one. That's crazy. Perpendicular out in the midair. No! Oh no. Nobody home on the sparkling elbow. She jumped in the field and there was no water there. I'm a little disappointed. Juliet, I've had so I've had so much praise for her and her potential, and she still hasn't reached that. I don't understand. At this point, your guess is as good as mine. I mean, there was some hard hitting action in this match. Right. Julia Starling looked like she had her. I thought this was going to hit. I thought, I thought this was going to hit here. The sparkling elbow. The only other thing. Yeah, one. sparkling elbow. Yeah, she didn't work over enough. Then she went for this like, almost like a 
big body splash and only got not even a two count. Here's the end. Juliet missed on the second spot with an elbow and Shanna scores with the perfect starter and gets the three. But she's reveling in this one. He's moving on. As we take a look at the brackets, Shannon, Shannon is through as is Mercedes and Dixie Clements. One spot remains, and that will be Corey Owens taking on the chess mistress, Ashley Knights. Guess what is happening, Shannon? Next? Yeah. This one have this one. This one have to win the tag champion. Take it on the chest mistress. And it's after the break. Who's that? and the last quarterfinal match is underway. It is one half of the women's tag champions, Corey K.O. Owens, taking on the chess mistress, Ashley Knight, and Corey just stopping the mud hole in. So I'm mad they got the job of it. What kind of shit is that? Especially somebody who's a winner or was a champion. The champion that's supposed to get a job of it. We didn't even get an opening power. We didn't get an opening power. We're right, we're right in the thick of things. We're about, we're about a minute into this, uh, into this uh, final quarterfinal match. The winner of this bout will take on the three kill cowgirl, Dixie Clemens. And remember, kids, the winner of this tournament at the end of the night. And, oh! Boys, 
Corey get, gets excused from the outside. Yeah, the, as you were going to say, Eddie, the winner of this match gets a women's title shot. Right, and, uh, oh! Corey's going to slam on the floor. The women's title shot at Vendetta in Mexico City. But they stick. Uh oh. Oh! oh. Whoa. Uh -oh. But you also got to wonder where a Ashley Knight's head is at here, Eddie. Oh, hang on a second. Corey now, the most overused woman for actual wrestling, the Superplex. The Superplex. Oh, oh, There's a wrestler who's the Cruiserweight champion who's been using that as a finisher. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Current yeah. Cruiserweight champion actually used that uh, superplex as a finisher. But he was like all the way up at the top of the Superplex has been a finisher since the 80s. Well, there you go. Oh, Sling Blade. The JTG Memorial Sling Blade. Just the one, though. Yeah, that's the JTG suck in there. Okay. <laughs> hey, but yeah, Eddie, we got to wonder where Ashley Knight's head is at right now in this match. Right? I mean, she's on a manhunt, and an ill-advised manhunt, but a manhunt nonetheless for the leader of Ashra because of what they did to Cleopatra Sphinx at Uprising. Yeah, she said she was going to either get envy or get the quote-unquote puppet master of her cure. Yeah, and that's where oh. Ashley I is at now. I mean, she can't find envy. Listen. She said it on Listen. adrenaline. She can't find envy, so she's going to find Sapphire. Listen, I may not have seen eye to eye with Ashley Knight and her tactics and the way she does things, but she obviously cares deeply about her family. Her sister-in-law got absolutely brutalized at a price of three after losing, causing her to lose the championship, the boxing championship that she fought so hard to get back. Right. I we haven't seen her Ashley since. For, I don't blame Ashley for wanting to go after them, them crazy fools. And we haven't seen Cleopatra Spink since that night in CCL. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't blame her. Oh, God! Yeah, that ain't, that's concrete, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. There ain't no mess there. That's concrete. Yeah. And she just laid it all head on concrete. That that is not uncomfortable. Not, that is not comfortable. Not even. Uncomfortable. Yeah. Hey, oh, look at. Oh my God, look at this. Actually, it's Eddie. Is that Eddie. The claw? Get get. You know who else uses that claw? Uh huh. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! She she is she is damn sure calling Sapphire out now. That 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 wall. Oh! In the face! Oh, man. I mean, I'm gonna tell you something. Ashley might seem to have a few pound of pressure since what happened to her sister in law, but like y'all said, she's gotta keep the game. There is a chance that both members of Perfect Knights could meet in the final, but they will both have to get there to get it, and now Corey, look, oh! The KOD! That forearm throw. Got her! No! Oh, the can't get her! That was only a two count, though. Man. Ashley! Zillion Ashley. Thank you. 
Staying in it, but man, Axe is not going to play. This is about to oh! I don't know if Ashley can survive two of those. A second KOD. Yeah, I think she might be that. No! Wow. How? Like, Ashley Knight is resilient as hell. This is true. Oh, 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 oh my, my god. god. Yikes. Good lord. Yeah, I yeah, I think Eddie either you or Champ said it best. Ever since the uprising, she has had a new to get her hands on Sapphire by two means necessary. Oh, if, it means taking oh. out, if it means taking out the rest of the roster to call her out, then that's exactly what she's planning to do. And if she gets a women's title shot in the process, then that's just icing on the cake. Oh, that could be it. it was dead. That's it. That, After she right. dropped on that stack she just dropped on that stack of down. She calls the neck like so many times. Three That's times gotta be it. Got him. Good night. No pun intended. Oh, 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 Eddie, what do you think this what do you think this is? Is this a message for the tag team championships or is this something more than that? It could be, it, both of these things can be true. I mean, KO got dumped on her head so many oh. times in the last couple minutes, she might have a freaking concussion and Ash Knight doesn't give a damn. Damn it again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here's the bracket for the number one contender for the AC. Ashley, she's the number one. She picks Dixie Cup to the semifinals. Shannon Mercedes will face off in the other semifinals. The winner of that match will be facing off for a shot at the CCL Women's title. Ladies and gentlemen, we take it back 
to Adrenaline last week. A brilliant match between Matt Phoenix, the new CCO champion, and the natural prize with Axe Stone. Zach missing on the revelation at Phoenix. Multiple away with the GTS. But was not even close. The natural cyclone by Zach Stone. I think that may have been as close as. Oh no, that wasn't that wasn't close either. But holy, this, this wasn't all. This is awful by Matt Phoenix is showing that he's. Matt Bean is showing he's going to be a fight champion, man. Coming off that elimination chamber and up guys going up against the natural, uh, natural prodigy. Look at this. And, Z and, and Zach proved that he is he wasn't a former DCA world champion for nothing either. Taking Matt Phoenix to the absolute limit. This was the second go to sleep. But it was not enough. Stone hit the super kick. Looking to pull the upset over the full world champion of Phoenix. But no. Stayed alive. Here's the end. Stone missing on the natural cyclone for the second time. And that Phoenix, a third go to sleep. To the natural prize. And that Phoenix picks up the win in a very physical, grueling match. But following that match, Dallas had a big announcement concerning the world title. Okay, I'm a little bit confused here. You need the only one. I, I'm a little confused here. Where exactly is Dallas going with this?
I'm sorry, what? Okay, now I'm even more confused. A two-fall triple threat match for the CCL National and World Championships? It just got real, guys. Yes, it did. Wait, wait, wait. Wow! Oh God! Great D laid out the challenge earlier tonight, and Dallas is giving it to him in two weeks. Oh, wait a minute! Look at that! Great time, mutual respect. I love that. But Phoenix can't rest now. He's got to get as much as he can because in two weeks. He's got the wrestling professional for the world title. And Absolutely. Because of that, because of that, he'll have two challenges at Vendetta. Exactly. And two triple threats back to back. CCL Pulse, if you're just tuning in to this part, seriously, go back and watch the stuff before, this kind of good, plus it'll catch you up to, like, right here, all this is about to make sense. Actually, close. Oh, this is ladies' night, and the feelings right, okay, alright. That, that, that was pretty good, actually. Uh, Dixie Clowns will take on Ashley Knight in one semifinal, Portugal's perfect athlete Shannon will take on Mercedes in the other semifinal. That's 
one half of Perfect Night. Perfect Night is coming out. Shannon got a big thrill tonight. Not a lot of rest. Yeah, here's yeah. That's that's exactly what I was about to mention, Chance. Is the fact that this one night tournament, it's got to have taken its toll on everybody involved. You don't get a long rest period as if it was like a week, a week, a few weeks of a tournament or something like that. This is a one night tournament, so you have to get in, get your match over with as quickly as possible in order to have as much rest as possible in between. So you got to wonder how much rest these ladies are having, and you got to think that the other two in the match after this one have got to be praying that this goes long because if it goes long that's more, more time that they have to rest up i'll tell you this shannon does have an advantage though remember when she first won the bombshell title yeah it was in a one night tournament two points for you d it was a adrenaline 68 that one night tournament to crown the first bombshell champion I believe that Adrenaline was also your only ever match in this game, Yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah. Was that 68? Well, well, I think, I, I think, six, I think 68. I, oh, 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 I think was, no, actually, I think it was 69. Yeah, I think. My, yeah, it was 69, I think. But 68 was all women's. Uh, yeah, nine. right. How appropriate is that my first match of CCL was on episode 69? Okay, all right. <laughs> Damn it, I mean. Speaking of something. This is the kind of commentary you can expect from us. By the way, if you see what I'm here, especially when he's here, if you are new to the CHF Champions League, most of all, there's a subscribe yeah, There's a subscribe button down there, probably uh, down into the left of this video. Uh, it's a red button. Uh, if you watch this on Daily Motion, I believe it's hit the subscribe button, please. Um, also, if you watch this on uh, on, on YouTube, uh, there's also a bell next to that subscribe. Hit that too. That way, you'll know when the video goes out. Yeah, because some yeah, people like don't know. Some people don't know when videos go up. Even though, so, even, you know. Even when oh God! And oh! Oh God! Wow! Oh! Wow! That's how she, that's how she feels. Okay. Do it. Well, I mean, I mean, Mercedes shouldn't be upset. I mean, she's used to getting slapped in certain areas. Okay. Hey! <laughs> Big girl. <laughs> Big girl. <laughs> I, I, I think, I think, I think, Eddie, I think I'm reading from a book here that says, uh, champ one-liners and quick jokes. Oh, here. I, I think I picked that up on accident on the way out. Oh! I hate that <laughs> <laughs> But nonetheless, we got the final match here. As Jen is taking it to the team oh, right now. Oh, the barricade! Shanna wants to be women's champion, and I don't really blame her. First ever bombshells champion. She wants to be the only woman to hold both the bombshells and women's title. Right. She's already made history once by being the first bombshells champion. So having an opportunity to face Black Widow for the women's title and oh, win that. Oh, that oh, 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 oh. Nice German suplex by Mercedes with the release. And we said it earlier on in the night. I mean, you may not like Mercedes' attitude, and a lot of people don't, but you cannot deny the fact that she is talented in the ring. Most people say she's talented in other era. I'm about tired of you taking my jokes that <laughs> day. You know, I'm gonna have to start turning back more often so that way I can get my jokes back. Shannon said right in the ring here. Uh, the winner of this, by the way, will face either Dixie Clements or uh, Ashley Knight. But, but then again, if you've been watching from the beginning, you won't know that. We'll just surprise yeah. we'll you again because you know. Oh, and Mercedes went for a snap suplex, and Shanna with a Russian leg sweep. Even athletes from Portugal! Russian 
next week. Hashtag back. Oh! Wow. Wow. How embarrassing was it she lost to our Portugal leg sweep. Yeah, Portuguese leg sweep, yeah. This looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, whoa, is Mercedes. You're not only getting a ladies' night, but you're getting quality commentary from the best commentary in the business. What is that? Oh, God! Yo! Ow! I'm telling you, man, she keeps getting stomped like that. Her breasts are going to deflate down to being flat chested. Okay, alright. Okay. Two count only, as There was a difference in nine months. Okay. Oh, oh no, no, I'm just gonna leave that alone. There it goes. <laughs> oh, what a stutter. Oh, Actually, she's going to go tonight. No! No! Kick out of that. Well, Mercedes said, fuck that car. If that was any normal person, that would be a three count. I say that for very obvious oh, reasons. Wait, say you say that. that much that me to the midsection. You see, she was able to flip over and float because of for the chest you see. Okay. <laughs> I think there was I think there's a warning label on the side that says maybe use that as close to okay. Nigga. Oh, oh God. God got dropped right on the top of her head. That could be it right there. Cover! Two! Two! What's, oh! oh she, but she's blonde, though. There's not really much in there, but okay, all right. Shannon okay. knows Mercedes' foot. Um, get the ropes. Yeah, she she noticed that the referee would have stopped that pinfall attempt, so she did it for him. That was a smart maneuver, possibly, just to wear Mercedes down a little more. Mercedes is up. Oh! Yeah. I she was trying for the Hurricane Rada and Shannon said, nah, not so fast, my friend. And a lot more experience than Mercedes does. And it's being shown right from the back. Be fair, I'll be due, due to very dubious circumstances, and I say that generously. The blacklist helped her. Let's be for real. Yeah, the, the blacklist indeed. They, they helped her all three in basically all three matches. But tonight, Mercedes is on her own, as are all the competitors in this match. Report. And, and, oh, oh, God! Oh, 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 oh! Why? Uh, why? Why, fam? Why? Why? You know, I'm wondering if she practiced that in the house. Okay. You know what? <laughs> Come in now. Good. One, two! two. Okay. Oh! That was close, though. Very close. Uh, yeah. A millisecond close. more, and she could have went on to the finals to face close either Ashley Knight or Dixie Clement. Close to only counts in horseshoes and hand grenade. Yep. Oh! God. That's that. Yeah. Maybe perfect press? Champ, but uh, there was no perfect press to be had. There, there was no one in the pool. Also, no one in the pool. Late Jack and Netbreaker by Mercedes. And she, oh, no, 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 no. And it's still in it. And Mercedes is not happy about that, but she really folded her up. She's going to take a she lot more than Netbreaker to put. Hope she was perfect athlete away. She 
over her up in that pit ball. Still couldn't keep it down. Oh! Straight. Another close to two counts. Somewhere. That's a, somewhere. I'm about to say. It. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, as, as, I was gonna say as, a, as another commentator I know would say that was a missile drop kick. That is good. Perfect flex. Perfect flex. Let's go for the. Could be got, it right there. You got all that play. So. She's not done. She's gonna hit another one. She's gonna hit another one. That has got a you can you cannot get out of two perfect stunners. You got remember she hit one she hit one early before she hit those two. Yeah. Oh, she's good. She's good. She's good. But not another one. Oh! Oh, the thing got out of it, bro. I was about to be like DJ Khaled. Look. Oh! Bang the ring by Mercedes. Something she's used to. Okay. Is she like Golden Khaled? Okay. No, 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 no! No! Nope. Fast, my friend. This has been a great match, bro. That's a long one. That bitch is that bitch is actually Dixon. Exactly. Now, oh, swing and a miss. Don't you just want to stop doing that or actually hit that? She did the same thing earlier on and missed. Oh. Mercedes is looking to finish Jana off here. No, she's not. She's just she's trying to pose and be, be a bitch instead of finishing her off. Well, she probably should, you know, you know, focus on putting this thing away. That's just me. Yeah, I would think so. Oh my God! And again, I have zero ring experience, so what do I know? I told you, she needs to like, you got Shanna hang around. With Shanna's cardio, Shanna could to take this one. But she can yeah, kick her in the face like kick. that. She got a bicycle kick in the face. In the face, in the face! Oh, look at this! Unique hitting combination. Two! Three. She got her! I'm pretty sure she's perfecting that with JC Wolfen. Okay. Oh. I mean, she arched her back and everything like she was oh, oh, in the oh, 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 oh. <laughs> My only question is, where where'd she lean over that ball? Oh. Oh. <laughs> was in the kitchen, yeah. living room table. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Let us look back at some of the highlights of this matchup. I'm just saying though, man, like maybe leave well, I mean Mercedes, look at this. Got stomped in the chest by Shanna for the tree of woe. Oh, That's what they're gonna play in the dip. That shit don't heal up in a few minutes. No, that does not. Neither does not just one there's perfect the, stutter. That was the, the first perfect That was the first That was the first perfect stutter. That only got a two count. She hit two more in this match. And that does not heal she in, in, hit, in a few minutes. And then look at this three of combination. Them. Right? That's a JC special number two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, I'm telling you, she's trying to be her and JC one more time to rewrite the conversation.
We're at the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey for the first episode of Pulse of Season 7. Thank you for joining us. Joyce. What's happening, Joyce? Mercedes has moved on in the number one contenders tournament for a shot at Black Widow at CCL Mandela on May 6th. She'll be taking on the winner of this forthcoming contest between we count Cowgirl Dixie Clements. And this lady right here. Champion, was you that brought it up? There seems to be a newfound aggression in Ashley Knight. She wants it. She really now wants to defend the honor of her family and her sister-in-law slash frenemy. Cleopatra speaks after what happened to her at Uprising Three. She wants to go after Envy, and if she can't get Envy, she wants her twin sister Sapphire, the quote puppet master. Of Akira. Yeah, she's not going to stop until she gets her hands on one of them two chicks for what they did to her, to her sister-in-law. And right now, she's got to focus on the three-count cowgirl, Dixie Clemens, and try to get to the finals. And and one other note about that, Eddie, that you were talking about, you have to wonder. Is going after Envy the right move, or is it going after the woman that actually manipulated Envy in the first place in that sack? I think the only person that can answer that question is Ashley Knight. Yes, exactly. But yeah, Champ is right. She's got more. She's got more pressing matters to attend to right now. She's got one more victory to go before she heads to the finals, and it's got to. She's got to go through Dixie Clemens to do it. And that's going to be a very, very tough task. Hey, d well, listen, shut up for a minute. I'm trying to admire the view. Okay, okay, all right, sorry, sorry. <laughs> well, 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 you better than me, because if I try, you won't be seeing me on CCL anymore. I'll be dead. Yeah, I'm sure you Eddie, would be, Eddie, but... you, Eddie, you know Lucinda's attitude when she gets mad. 
she, if she, if she know, she, if she even noticed or even had. I don't think if she knows that. I don't know you anymore. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Feel, feel me. We're just gonna move. We're just gonna move on here. Yeah, we're gonna move on before I get into any more trouble that I've already gotten into tonight. Uh, Ashley Knight is getting. Well, never mind. I was gonna say she was getting the business end of some right hands, but now, what's this? Oh, that that was beautiful transition chain wrestling there into that reverse figure four. I, we said it. We said it in her first match. Oh, oh my wow. God! That's one way. Yo. That's one way to break Where it up. Punched her right in the right in the jaw. And like we said earlier tonight, I mean, Ashley Knight has turned up her aggression. Ow! 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 ow. ow. Oh my! That. Bow and arrow by Dixie Clinton. Ow! And you see the knees in the back of Ashley Knight. Oh, but she transitioned to a pit. Oh! And then a back, a back drop. And Clemens trying to get the crowd riled up here. Ashley Knight, like I like said, she's got to stay focused. She can't worry about Asher right now. She's got to focus on this tournament. So this is a once in a lifetime chance to get into a women's championship match. You cannot let that slip. If you get, if you leave one opening for someone to take advantage, you could be on the outside looking in. This match will get a women's title match at the Endetta. And now Ashley being sent to, Ashley sending Dixie out to him. What is Ashley got in mind? Ashley taking the switch. I have no idea. Oh, wait a minute. What is Ashley doing? Oh, oh Ashley, my goodness. Four. Ashley, oh my God. Oh, Ashley's going to power bomb on the floor. Oh my goodness. Yeah, How about that? Oh! If she power bombed her on concrete, that this match would have been early, over early. I mean, Ashley was in a bit of a war with Corey Owens earlier in the night. Dixon Clemens, she knocked off the kid in about, what, about three minutes? Oh, man, what? Uppercuts. And another uppercut. Another. Ooh. I, oh. Yikes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She chopped it and she stole it. Jesus. And then Dexy takes her down. Here we go. Here we go. Dexy Lex walked in. Oh, that. That's how she went earlier for bad rate positioning by this three cow cow girl. Didn't bring her to the middle of the ring and she and Ashley Knight was able to get the ropes. Oh! Super kick! Oh, they to kick her face all the way to New York City from here. Oh, man. That could be it for Ashley. Yeah, she got all of that Dixie cover. Legus Hawks! In a hole! I think the referee not being in proper position might have helped Ashley Knight there. It took him a while to get down and get that three, uh, go count that cover. Dixie. All right, Dixie. Oh, Dixie takes it out again. Wait a minute. And she's got her away from the ropes this time. Dixie locks her in. And Ashley snaps. That's it. That's it. Two former Bound Show champions go out in the semifinals. And it is Dixie and Mercedes for the right to challenge for the women's title. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing, gentlemen. Dixie finished that match off fairly quick. Wow, but yeah, Dixie, that's a little like I, said, I don't think her match. So Dixie might be a little bit more rested than Ashley Knight, I mean, than Mercedes. Right. Yeah, I, I, I think that, it's like I said before, I think Ashley's head wasn't in the game for this one. I mean, you, you notice she 
didn't really do it a lot in this match. And Dixie took advantage of every time Ashley Knight left open. And it cost her. Wouldn't you agree, Eddie? I, 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 I would agree. I would agree that. I mean, usually we'd see Ashley Knight a lot more methodical, a lot more aggressive, but it, it seemed like she toned it down a lot for this one. Very much so, and you see the result. Dixie Clemens is moving on. She will face Mercedes for the right to face Black Widow in May in Mexico City at Vendetta. Let's we'll see who gets that, that shot. Let's look at the bracket. Dixie moving on with that win over Ashley Knight. Saw Mercedes move on a little earlier with that win over Shannon. And ladies and gentlemen, on the other side, it is a number one contenders match for the CCL Women's title. We count Calvin, Dixie Clemens, and Jake on Mercedes, the winner to face Black Widow and Dennis. Why is Video Game Wrestling Network the only network for... It is three. Austin, I'm not Oh my God! Why is the Video Game Wrestling Network the only network for... Start it off and... Oh! Out of nowhere! Don't fall on the steel. Oh my God! Oh! Superplex! What a brutal match. We have just seen it. Why is Video Game Wrestling Network the only network for... Daniel Mars. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. god. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. The SKO! There it is! King Target! Oh! He goes over the top! Why? This is the only place we want to be. Video Game Wrestling Network, the only network for you. Experience the best in CAW Wrestling. Only on Video Game Wrestling Network. Shove it in overdrive. Oh, 
We're back at the Prudential Center in New York, New Jersey, and this is CCL Pulse. And ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the finals of a turn one night tournament to determine who will face Black Widow at CCL Vendetta on Saturday, May 6th. Dixon Clemens knocking off the kid and Ashley Knight to reach the finals. Mercedes knocking off Salak and Shanna to reach the finals. The winner of this match. Black Widow on May 6th. This is going to be a great match right here. I'm sorry, as much as I like this Clemens' interest, it made no sense for her to walk up back and come back out. That's just I don't understand. She stayed out there. She has the Speaking of Mercedes, he gets the jump on the three count combo. Yeah, I think Mercedes realized that Dixie Clinton being the uh, showgirl that she is in other places, right. not like I know anything about that. I'm sorry, Lucinda. Anyway, <laughs> Mercedes realized that Dixie would come back out for her entrance and she took advantage and now she's getting the jump on Dixie. And see, that's the mistake. That's a mistake on on her, on Dixie. She should have stayed out in the ring, waited for Mer Mercedes, and had Mercedes come out. Her face yeah, how the hell is wrong? This match has begun, but Dixie hasn't even had time to take her hat off yet. Dixie, I mean, like I said, Dixie's match is not very long. It's a very short contest, whereas Mercedes had a much longer contest a little while ago in advancing so Dixie has a bit of an advantage and oh! Mercedes knew that good what? god yeah Mercedes, whatever advantage Mercedes but hang on coming by Mercedes because she needs a little more contender or no Mercedes missed on that bicycle kick I was, I was about to say whatever advantage Dixie may have enjoyed that uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, Mercedes realized that. Look, she she's getting out of the way. She knows what's up. She knows what's up. That's why she started to move away. There's no hesitation on that drop kick. She immediately went after her. She had her back turned. And Dix and Mercedes tossing Dixie sliding into the, into the crowd. I'll try for a pump handle. Oh, got a back suplex. Into the oh, uh, too close to the ropes. That's been Dixie's Achilles heel tonight in this tournament. Is too many times she's had. Uh, opportunity for pins or for submissions, but not have a good ring position. Oh! Did she lose a March Madness tournament oh. match point because of that? I believe so. Ooh, no! You would think she... You would think she would have learned by now. Yeah, well... So does. When are you in the series? I don't think so. Oh! I don't think so. And it's going to take it. a lot more to put Dixie Clemens away. But I mean, Dixie has wrestled two more, it's like two matches tonight, and this is her third. Same thing with uh, Miss Mercedes. Uh oh, wait a minute. Counter into a suplex. Mercedes with a counter and a pinfall on route to the finals. Dixie with submissions and back to back bouts, and now. The missile drop kick got nothing. Oh! That shining wizard got everything. And that could be it. The cover. Two. Oh. No. Nope. This is too 
Okay. Black Widow, who survived an absolute war with Morgan Raincroft at Uprising 3, will get the winner. And speaking of that, you got to know Morgan Raincroft is going to be looking for whoever wins that title because um, she got screwed. Yes, she, yes, she did. I, I don't. I don't care what champ. I don't. I mean, not champ. I don't care what the doc said um, about that match. Naughty came in at the. Oh! 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 A chiropractor's looking at this right now and is probably like cringing. Oh, oh God! Either that, either that, or she saw how big she's standing in position Aye. and what she's wearing, and he was probably like, "Nigga!" Oh, look at that Dixie Cutter! That Dixie could be it. Got her on of it. Referee in position. Cover. Two. Oh! No. Uh, But yeah, you know, like I was saying, Doc said that, you know, Naughty was taking advantage of the situation, and maybe she was, but Morgan got screwed, and she's looking for another shot. But speaking of shots, Mercedes might get her all in the way. One last point on it. I'm just saying. I hope Dallas does something to compensate Morgan Raincroft for being screwed out of, the, out of her right for the women's title. Fight. Right, but no one is. Morgan Raincroft has basically been off the grid since since last yeah, November. Since, yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Dixie Lock. Dixie Lock is no. Oh, Mercedes. Oh, but again. 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 Bad ring positioning by Dixie Clemens. Will Barrow! Oh, you got a face buster. Right through the face. The thing is, Dixie Clemens is gonna lose. So I don't know why oh. you're making these rookie mistakes. It's going to roll in it. Oh, I think, I think Dixie oh. was looking for a trifecta there, maybe. That's what I'm going now. She tried to go into the world once too often. Yeah. Clemens has got to fix oh! what she's doing. Oh my god. That kick. Oh. I was going to say she needs to fix what she was doing wrong and quickly, but I don't think Mercedes is going to give her an option. Oh. And drops her down again. That's what that DDT is doing. No! No! Oh. Not gonna be good. Couple shots to the back and it. Oh! My goodness. Both assisted backstab. Work it out the back of Dixie Clemens. Clemens might be in trouble here. Oh, oh no. This is a trap kick. Back, back oh. of that cap kick. This flip. Oh, 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 that's a flip. That's a flip by Mercedes. That's the apple. That that sunset flip, the referee was way out of position, and that gave Clemens time if she never get cover. out. No! Kick. Clemens kicks out. Uh oh. I say he's maybe looking to end it. No! Oh! I have never seen Mercedes use a super kick before. And that's it. Oh, done. Mercedes will face Black Widow and Mandana. Wow. New name, new attitude.
to two different results. She, she, I, Eddie, I'll tell you what, I have never seen Mercedes use a super kick, but it paid it off right here tonight, and Mercedes is one step closer to becoming a women's champion. And she's a champion currently, but not the women's champion. Right. That's what she be. Take a look back at this action. This was, this was after she assaulted Dixie Clemens while she was doing her entrance, that kick. But she could have got the win right there, but no. Clemens kept fighting back, however. This this, this, is a hell, this is a hell of a battle. Yes, it was. It definitely was. Dixie had the advantage before the match started because her match did not go as long as Mercedes' match did, but Mercedes nixed that one real quick by jumping her at the start. And Dixie it was basically playing catch up, and right there, yeah, that super kick, which I can't believe. I, I've never seen her use it, but she did it to a great effect, and now she is the number one contender, and she will face Black Widow. And, oh, wait a, wait a minute. There's the general manager. There's the general manager of this here company, Dallas. A former sure women's she, champion in her own right. First ever. Yeah. I'm sure. The first ever CCL I'm, women's champion. And I'm sure right. she's here to congratulate Mercedes on winning this tournament. This is a grueling ordeal, whether you like Mercedes or you don't. I personally don't. Mercedes did it on her own. She, that's, yes, she did. No blacklist, no Shazine, nobody to help her. I personally don't like her, but yeah, absolutely right. I give her credit. She did her own on her own tonight. Yes. That is true. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? what? Uh, Hell. Eddie, that's what we were told. That's right? what I was told. We were told it was for the women's championship. Uh huh. Oh, Carter. Right oh, oh, boy. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, dear. I don't think she want to be about that. Oh, life. yeah. Dallas may be retired, but she can still whoop somebody's ass if she has to. Oh, yeah. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Those two finally get to beat the hell out of each other. Oh, the players ain't about that life, definitely. <laughs> Dallas, is, Dallas is not heartless, correct. Mercedes doesn't want to die. Wait. What? Excuse me? Say what? Wait, so she's going to face a women's champion, a women's champion for that women's championship. He signed the boss. But who the, who the fuck that is it? Anybody, Eddie. You know how many women's champions there are around here? Oh, this, this is true. Well, Mercedes, she may not get the women's championship she wants, but she does get a women's championship match. But what women's championship is it for? Yeah, who the fuck is it? Like, can we like find out? What the hell? Oh, sweet lord, no! Okay. You gotta be kidding me! No way! No way. Oh my god! Well, I'll be back there. Jeff! Dewolf! The X! That's it, but Steve is nasty! It's the Cold Stars Living Champion! 
I just want to say since D Walls mic is fucking up, Mercedes, the fuck this is! Oh my god! Yeah. Uh oh, snappers. Mic fucking up? Yeah, you're some with it. Oh my goodness, here we go. I don't think about that one. Oh my goodness! What a beast strike. The, there's the newest member of this here roster! The Carl Stars Women's Champion! How about that? The Carl All Stars Women's Champion is joined, has joined the CCO roster, and is I, I can't believe it. Is going to be giving a shot at that Carl All Stars Women's Championship against Mercedes, who just fought three matches and that was getting her ass whooped. I cannot believe this. Amber Steve, uh oh. And, oh, goodness. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Amber Steve just got turned inside out. Amber Stevens, who's, uh oh. <laughs> Amber Stevens, who's taking a leave of absence from, from DCA just to compete in these other organizations for that women's oh. championship, and now she's in CCL. The former MMA fighter turned the first, ever, the first ever Wildcats champion in DCA, the first ever All Stars women's champion, the only one to this point. She has beaten every. Oh, Lord. I'm on the set. Oh, Mercedes, I think that. Oh, Lord. Mercedes, Mercedes may have just done the worst thing she could have ever done. And, and Vendetta, she could have real off that close hand. Trust me, I know Amber Stevens. And this is a more dangerous Amber Stevens ever. Say a prayer for Mercedes. Oh my goodness. Amber Stevens is a member of the CCO roster. And she will face Mercedes at the data. Hey, it's Eddie Mack, Lee Voice of the CAW Champions League, and I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, and hit the bell so you know when a new video goes up. Oh yeah, and share this video with your friends too, the whole show, really. And uh, check out some of our old stuff too. Thanks.